Hello friends, today I want to do an ICAD for this week and um, dedicate to the remembrance of, uh, here's a book I got, The Poppy is to Remember, and it's uh, a remembrance of all the people who, who fought in wars across the world really, not just Canadians, I know it's um, Canadian people, like people kind of brought it to Canada. I don't know. But um, I just wanted to share this little book. I'm not going to, I was going to read it, but I thought, well, it's got beautiful pictures. I bought it last year for Cora. I actually, the first time I read it, I had trouble um, reading it without crying. <laughs> but I don't know why. But um, I wanted to dedicate this index card um, in remembrance of just everyone who fought in any wars um, and their families and people that were with them and everything like that so I just wanted to show you the beautiful illustrations they've done in this book this is a really great book um, really nice for the kids so and it's not too long and it has some history information in the back which is really nice um, and like I said it's just a very beautiful book here's some the story of the poppy um, the story of um, you know who wrote the, the, the poem in Flanders Fields and just the little you know dates and stuff and things so it's just a few pages of that in there so this is a great little book if you guys are ever I don't know, interested in a book about the poppy and what it resembles, represents, I mean. So I got this one at the homeschooling store. It was 20 bucks there, but I'm not sure what the book value is on that. Anyways, I wanted to do a index card for basically November 11th for Remembrance Day. So... I'm going to get started on that. So I picked out uh, a jelly plate print. Can't speak today. I'm not sure. This one might be too um, thick. This one is pretty thick. It's been I've had it for a long time and it's really dry. Let's see if I can find my other one. Do do. Do I have another gesso here? And I'm just going to use my palette knife to spread it on. I was going to use a card, but well, I could have used. I was going to use modeling paste actually, which I was going to use, but I don't know. Decided to use this. Stick my gesso on now, and I'm just gonna try to make um, build up a little bit of a background, and then do a poppy in the front. I think that's what I'm going to do. I want some metallic colors. Let's see here. I have. Um, Venetian gold. It might be a little too much. We'll see how that works. I like that. Perfect. I'm just going to dry that up. I think I'm going to go with one of the pictures. Maybe, um, I don't know. I wanted to use this picture right here, perhaps a little bit of the bob wire on there. I'm not sure. So I might just do that. This It's a really good book. Um, a really great illustration. Um, and uh, 
I don't know, very touching, right? It's true, like, um, it's just, it's hard for everyone, to, even us adults, to understand why we have war and all that kind of thing. And so it's got to be really hard for children to understand. So I think I'm going to use my watercolors to do the poppy. And I'm going to, I, I thought I was going to add a little bit of pieces trim here that I've had bits and pieces of so I might just do that too um, as well as okay I'm going to add a Mod Podge and I'm just going to add oh I left my brush out just a little bit too long it's a little stiff um what can I say I can't remember I think I'm just going to put it right here. Just to add a little bit more to the card or to the index card. So yeah, this this um, is uh, November 7th today, so I just thought, you know what, let's do an honoring um, card to honor anyone who has to deal with this kind of thing. Anyone who has to deal with loss, anyone who has to, has their parents, um, parents in, in war or in any kind of, um, situation where they're trying to help peace, you know, it might not be war, but there's always soldiers, um, soldiers out doing something peace or whatever so this card is representing that it's not just war per se but anything to do with with that so I'm gonna dry this off stuff on there that I like I'm gonna take my um hey look I got glue all over this oops that broke Take my um, punchinella and just kind of stamp, so stencil some ink on there. And I really like punchinella. And then they do have other shapes of um, stuff too that's like this punchinella, like sharp star shape and whatnot. Really enjoy it. I did get some given to me. So this is it so far. I'm going to put the bob wire in last. So I'm going to oh, I'm going to do what? Put my grab my watercolors because they're there. I haven't used them in a while, and I really love the look of the poppy with my watercolor so I'm just going to do a couple here's one so I'm going to draw it out and see how well they work with this you can also do them in just acrylic paint um, I might have should have probably done that. We'll see what how this works with the watercolor. So I'm gonna do some red on the side and I'm gonna do some black on the side. Oops. I'm using my water brush when I do these. And I'm gonna do some of the deep green. So just to let you guys know what I'm doing here. So this is going to be one poppy. Let's draw that one. Let's get that one going. And this one's kind of facing up. So we'll see how well this works on the acrylic background like this. It's pretty good. So it's like um, facing up. And then I'm going to grab some black and I still have red in my... And I'm going to go underneath this poppy because this is still part of the poppy here. 
but it's very shaded. So I'm pulling in some red there. And that's that one. And I'm going to have to pull in some black. Okay, so I'm going to quickly dry that up. Oops, this is not my lid. I'm going to quickly dry that up and blast that with some heat there. And um, then I can kind of do some shading, pulling in my shading. So I'm just going around my edges, pulling in some shading here. So if you guys could make a card, I think it would be really nice to make an index card dedicated to, I guess, peace. Peace in mind that, you know, people are thinking about other people and that kind of thing too. It's not just war but peace as well you want the best and i think you want the children to have their parents you want people to have their loved ones you want people to be safe so i think that's what we can make you know some people don't like i don't know I just think that's the a good focus is peace. So that's one. Let's see if we can get the um really need some red down here too. I'm going to do another one right here. And I made them really big, but that's okay. Acrylic would have been really probably more of a deeper and nice color, but we'll see. We'll see. Get the ones in the background. There's poppy petals in the background too. And then there's the center, which is lots of black and green in there. So that is basically my poppies, playing with it a bit. I'm going to have to dry that off. Then I'm going to add the um, bob wire. There's quite a glare from my... Um, lamp. I'm gonna put a little bit more directly on here from the for the center. Darken it up a bit. And that is a couple of really cute poppies. Nothing spectacular on the acrylic, but sometimes you just gotta go with, you know. Oh, I think Carly's barking up there. <laughs> so I'm just going outlining a little bit with my watercolor crayon. Now I'm going to work with my bob wire, and I think I want to do it in black. 
let's see should I do it in black ink it'll be very dark and um, let's try it and see how it looks Let's try it. Make it a little thicker. So I'm just going to make bob wire here. I remember reading something about, um, uh, you guys have to research this, but somebody who invented bob wire is pretty interesting. Um, there is actually a history that people collect bob wire on a, on a plank. I think it was a farmer, but I could be wrong. Could have been, unfortunately, it could have been something to do with war. I don't know. But there is quite the interesting history behind Bob Wire and how um, different over the years and the different little patterns of the little um, metal pieces they put on on actually there is a huge um, you know when they did things in different years and years and stuff like that it's actually pretty interesting there's a history on Bob Wire really and some people collect um, chunks of bob wire from different eras um, and pretty cool so that's my wire so far it's very wet so I kinda, I'm always doing with the the calligraphy pen now because it's just nice and um, I, I can draw on anything really with it so getting used to the how wet it is and I'm doing it right over my watercolor but I'm just gonna put like a uh, a coating on it to protect the watercolor um, wax crayon or the watercolor crayons these are the ones I use watercolor crayons and that's about it so far put my hand over it because I want to make sure I'm not touching that so give it a try guys do something like this and I'm really not being very talkative today, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know what it is about me today. I got my ink on there. Gotta be careful. I can make a mess. I can really make a mess. And uh, realize I have ink everywhere. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to go with bob wire on the edges up here. I think I'm just going to go kind of like a sketch edge maybe. Let's give that a try. Just a, a bit of a sketch edge on top. I'm going to dry that up guys. Uh, okay, got it going. I think that this is really what I want to add to it. I'm going to add remember I believe right up here and with my ink. And um, I'm going to challenge you guys to make sure everything's dry. Remember, not just soldiers that are um, of that come from our country, but remember the people who. Oh, that's not a very nice R. That's a nice thing about this is that you can give it a wipe. See that you have um, a glossy already on top I have a bit of a excuse me Mod Podge on top I'm going to sneeze push that pause button just in time um, anyway my challenge is for you guys to remember maybe even research other people from other countries who helped in disasters 
in wars and helping out and that kind of thing. Um, I was reading that other countries like India came in and aid um, in like the second war, I believe it was. So um, soldiers from there, you know, came and, and aided and just to show you that, you know, it's everyone works together as a team, not necessarily everyone's, you know, not or whatever. So remember, like I said, the children, remember the wives, the husbands, um, every, you know, there's so much to think about when you think about Remembrance Day. It's gotten um, now with everyone going to war, really. It's gotten, uh, or to any type of peace trying to, or anything like that. Um, it's just so much bigger than it was in the sense of now, well, back then women didn't go into to war unless it was just, or into any kind of situation like that, unless it was just being a nurse. And now, you know, there's... Things change so much now that there's there's even guy nurses and um, women fighting. So there's just so much has changed and so much to remember. Anyways, I hope you guys like this and I hope I didn't blab on too much. Um, don't forget to craft like a duck and I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.